In this podcast, we are going to get into cascading style sheets. Cascading style sheets, or CSS, define styles for HTML elements. In this slide, we're looking at the syntax of CSS. Each CSS rule consists of a selector, a property, and a value. The selector is the HTML element you want to apply a style to. Each declaration contains a property and a value enclosed between two curly braces. After each defined value, you must include a semicolon. The property is the attribute of the HTML tag and each property has a value. CSS can be defined within the HTML document inside the style tag. The style tag is embedded in the head tag in an HTML document. CSS can also be defined in a separate external file. And just like HTML documents, external CSS documents can be written in any text editor and should be saved with a .css extension. When defining an internal style sheet, you must declare a style tag embedded in the head tag. The style type is text slash CSS. Within the style tag, you will declare your CSS rule. That would include the selector, the property, and the value. Be sure to close your style tag and your head tag. In an external style sheet, a separate document that resides on a web server is created using a text editor with the file extension .css. Within the HTML document, an external CSS document is referred to as style sheet of type text slash CSS and links to the URL of the CSS document. In this example, my style file dot CSS is the document that contains the CSS style rules. The reference link for an external style sheet is also enclosed in the head tag of the HTML document. Remember, what's enclosed in the head tag is not displayed in your web page content. To define color, you will need to use a hexadecimal value followed by the number symbol. Visit www.colorschema.com to locate these hexadecimal values. Some common CSS properties are background, background color, color for text, font, font family, font size, which is illustrated in pixels, height, margin, text align, width, and various others. Visit www.w3schools.com for a reference to more CSS selectors, properties, and descriptions. You can also validate your CSS code if you visit jigsaw.w3.org slash CSS hyphen validator. I'm in my uh, text editor here and I have defined a style type um, with a body selector with a property of background color. My hexadecimal color value for background, I have an H1 selector with a font color, and I have aligned this text to be in the center of the page. 
I have specified my font family for paragraph elements to be Times New Roman with a font size of 20 pixels. This is all enclosed in my style tag and the style tag is embedded within the head tag. I have some text here in the body tag. One displays my primary header and the other displays my paragraph. So let's see what we've come up with. And this is my web page using CSS 